All right. The show is as stupid as ever as he realizes that the demon kid was taking frog meat to the village. Yes, that's what's going on. We we basically interrupted the transport of goods and that's the that's the logical conclusion that Nor was in. But aside from the stupidity, the level of darkness and seriousness the tone of the demon kids backstory that was actually really good i'm like whoa a show like this can actually touch on subjects like that that's kind of insane and how did nor you know basically uh beat the poison stuff uh, he <laughs> ate worse poison before developed this crazy immunity and he is now basically poison resistance now i think that Enos is still a fucking l she is the worst girl of the show so far Enos. And Lin, they're a little hesitant to take the demon kid in because of how dangerous demons are. But hey, I think that we're going to take him in and we should probably resolve what's going on at the slave trade or as well as what's going on back in our kingdom as well, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, right. This guy showed up. He's got like a bondage suit on. Kind of. Just the upper gear. Yes, we did that. We fucked up your frog meat. Hmm? The demon child. <laughs> He's so stupid, he probably would believe him. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm actually your, his, his, the Rolo's guardian. Yeah, I need it. I'm here to pick him up and roll a new school. Wow, so nice! Here, take the kid! What's going on with his eyes? There's like a M shape here. Is that his eyebrows? What's going on here? Why is he blindfolded? Is there a bounty a hit? Buddy! Oh shit, weapon broken already. Animation is pretty funny. Also, what the- how is this a parry? You're just blocking. I swear to god, bro. None of the parries- like, most of the parries he says is a parry is not a fucking parry. <laughs> Oh shit, he doing that fucking Goku jumping thing. Did he actually get blown back? You would think that we would have more, I don't know. Force durability? Well, that tiny blade, the one on the right is blue though. I don't think he hit was the blue one though yet. Is it poisoned? That's not a parry! You're blocking! <laughs> what the fuck? I guess they're just gonna show like how fast he really is. Enos, can you do something about this? No, classic Enos, bro. Fucking trash ass girl just sits on the sideline, casts the fucking barrier, and just sits back while Nor does everything. Dead man. S rank. What's his lore? The different sovereigns, I think. その最中にこんなものを討伐対象は死亡となっていますが、なぜまだ継続中の扱いに？ 
Did I miss something or did they just basically gloss over why he betrayed? He was just like, wow, Prodigy, Dwarven Alchemy, Dragon Slayer by 13, the Apex Adventurer, and then boom, uh, he said fuck all that shit and just left and did these atrocities. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, it's just all for money. I mean, he did look at Rolo and say basically the money, right? He's just there for the bounty. Entire royal family. Holy! Like, I get the glaze, it's just, it's hard for me to really take Zadu seriously. If he ends up getting parried in this episode and just loses, then all this glaze just is very surface level, you know? Because, like, you can't just introduce a new enemy like this at the beginning of an episode and for us to give a fuck without foreshadowing in the past and creating a world building for us to actually give a fuck about. You know what I mean? Like, I hope he lasts more than one episode because if you do all this shit and you're trying to make me care for this character and he doesn't deliver, then it's just going to be pretty pointless. Oh, one second. Oh, in a moment, so... Alright, we're back. <laughs> what? In order to prevent any more meaningless casualties, they declared him dead so that no one would try to fuck with them anymore. That's why he called Dead Ben Zadu. Is that a smart thing to do? To declare him dead? To, to get rid of all bounties and different things? Because he's just too strong? Maybe? All his weapons keep breaking. True. Yeah. Let's not Because our sword is another level, right? The, the material of our sword, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's fucking legendary material. <laughs> yeah. You want, can you pay? Can you? Yeah, you're pretty weird. Yes, even Zadu. This guy is the one calling us weird right now. Just try to understand what's going on and realize how bizarre of what's happening. Yeah. The dragon poop slayer sword. Retreat. Scary sword. Scatter! Senbon Zakura Kageyoshi! Why take that hit after one parry? Can't you keep parrying? Whatever. Well, remember the fucking training scene where he was like parrying multiple shit before? And then ba battle against the goblin? He was like, oh, I can't parry more than one thing at a time. Remember that shit? And now we're back to parrying multiple so I, I don't know. I, like, I, 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 the goblin fight is still fucking with me. Because there was a moment where one was coming from above and another from a different angle. And he was like, oh, I can't do both at the same time. You find my weakness. But it's like, I've seen you parry multiple things at once. Whatever. Put a shield on him! Fuck, this girl sucks. Don't you think that she would be safer if you protected Noor right now and helped and collaborated and defeated Deadman before Noor dies here because of your 
fucking lack of action and then do you think you can beat him by yourself i i don't know like i right now it's just like just go and fucking help this bitch is untouched right now she's sitting here dead man zadu doesn't care just go help out beat zadu and then we can move on i think that's a safer bet here we go What'd you say? Countering that is the best I can manage. And then he says something else here. I'm too late for those. Let's go, Enid! Finally, Enid! Useful! The shield can attack! How the fuck is he flying like this? What the fuck is... How, how is he maneuvering an air like... like anyway, it, it, it pro I probably don't have to ask for the physics. Like, who gives a fuck? There's fucking floating blades and everything. But it's just like... That's kind of crazy how he just also flying. <laughs> Here we go, teamwork. I did hit a bird faster than this. What bird was that? I can't remember the reference here. Did we fight some sort of... Was it a dragon? What was it? What is he referring to right now? Because I remember the, the cow, the minotaur. I remember the goblin. I, I don't remember a bird though, unless this is being retconned in right now. And then we're going to see the flashback of the bird later. Hmm? You're going to throw it at him? What? You're just going to hit it? Like a baseball bat? Like what's he going to do? Stone throw? Okay. It's a lot of those left, huh? He just basically Zeke from Attack on Titan now. Holy shit, that was fast. Let her die. That was close. My sword material stronger. I thought he ran out of fucking swords, bro. I trained in the forest for 14 years. Okay. Bye. You're just gonna leave like that? Celebration? What are we celebrating? The fall of the kingdom? Okay. Bye. He just leaves? And we're not gonna chase him either because, you know, Nor's Nor. <laughs> He's just trying to kill us. <laughs> They're just walking away. Bye. I broke all my swords against you. See you next time. Honestly, I prefer it like this. I did it exactly how... You know how I said in the beginning that Zaru Glaze seemed like out of nowhere and I can't really appreciate the character like that if you just throw him in and expect me to care about him with these, you know, these feats that's just glossed over? Let's let him cook, right? So he gets away now and he's gonna come back later. We'll see. It says you, bro. This guy is the one calling us weird. I want you to understand how ridiculous that is and he's not wrong either. Nor probably is weirder than him. Rank one weirdo. Wait, one more! Oh, you cheeky motherfucker! Okay. I don't know how I feel about Zadu, bro. 
Like, I guess he was strong. But it's hard for me to think he was strong because the animation was pretty lackluster. And he just got parried every time by Noor. The Silver Blades did get pretty close. And I guess the consecutive blow is prevented from Noor from parrying all the time. And he was taking damage. And then Ines came in clutch for us, so that was nice. But overall, it just... It's just weird motherfuckers, bro. Both us and him. <laughs> Celebration. <laughs> it can't be good for us. <laughs> I... <laughs> yeah, it's probably a party of the downfall of her fucking kingdom, right? So Nora's like, yeah, you want to go back and catch the party? Where your dad's head is probably on a fucking pike as they celebrate the downfall of the kingdom? <laughs> それなら一層戻るというのはどうだ。え？それにロロをミスラに送るのはダメでも王とならもんだいは少ないだろう。だが。おちゃんけ。寒いのかロロ。顔色が悪いぞ。大人の。いや。一緒に行くのはダメらし
So literally, that dragon that they're talking about, the biggest, you, you are the one bringing the fucking frog. That dragon was the frog we already defeated. The demon kid has no idea that the frog was the Black Death Dragon. And we have no clue that we slayed the Black Death Dragon. So everyone here is misunderstanding what's going on and there's no dragon entering, right? That's it. That's it. But like Lin is under the assumption that we already slayed the Black Death Dragon. Because she knows that wasn't a fucking frog. But then, how are we still then going to the kingdom with the assumption that an actual black, another Black Death Dragon is coming controlled by a different fucking thing? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Because, like, Lin right now is acknowledging that Nor slayed the Black Death Dragon, which was the frog. And then after that, we just mentioned the Black Death Dragon, the biggest one is coming. And she's like... Is, did, can, what, what did they say? What, what, what did they fucking say here, bro? Is, it, what was the fucking name of this fucking dragon? I, 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 need, I need to fucking get this shit straight. The biggest one is going to the capital. Hold on, watch this, watch this. The biggest one. Okay. They said the Black Death Dragon will comparison to this show. Pa compar pale in comparison to this show. So, is there multiple Black Big Death Dragons? There's, there's multiple Big Blue... Big... There's multiple Black Death Dragons? Because this shit is so fucking confusing right now. I understand that the fucking frog was the Black Death Dragon. But the way that the show is saying they said the Black Death Dragon will pale in compare. Oh, wait. I'm not understanding the grammar. I'm getting too heated. Look at the way it's saying, right? Pale in comparison. Therefore, this is not a Black Death Dragon. The frog. I, you know, I'm confused. Well, I'm confused too. I was confused because they, I thought that the comprehension here was, this is the Black Death Dragon. No, 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 no. Our frog will pale in comparison to the dragon. Okay. My brain cells are also getting parried the more I fucking watch this show. He is the hero, though, from the hero's tale. <laughs> just funny how we just made all that journey and it was all fucking pointless. Well, we picked up Rolo and we got to meet Zadu, but other than that, huh? No, there was a lot of point to the last two, three episodes. You know what the point was? The author needed to figure out a way to how to fucking nerf Noor by deporting his ass straight up because if he was here then the conflict would have been stopped but it's more interesting if everything's fucked up then the hero arrives late and i guess we learned about the poison resistance and rollo and zadu but it does feel pretty stupid what we just did okay we fended against them the big dragon. Big dragon coming. Below, above? Sealed, concealed right there. Concealed right there, bro. You know, the classic fucking thing of like the concealment release and you know, it shows up. It happens every time. Fuck, our security is so trash, bro. Like, this, like, hidden vi invisibility mechanic has gotten us, like, every fucking time. Anytime we need to introduce a monster, it's been introduced this way. The fucking goblin was the same shit. The, the, the frog dragon was the same shit. This dragon is the same shit. Big, big boy. 
The Dragon of Calamity! <laughs> Nor will parry it, then call it fried chicken. I parry the dead man. And that's today's episode of I Parry Only. And my brace cell indeed got parried watching this show. I didn't understand this Black Death Dragon. I guess I was just glossing over it. I thought it I thought this is supposed to be like a joke of like, oh, they didn't even know that like, you know, Rolla was the one carrying the Black Death Dragon. But no 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 no. The Black Death Dragon was the frog. However, this thing pales in comparison to our frog, right? This thing is on another fucking level. The Calamity Dragon. But Nora's gonna figure out a way to just parry it and just basically save the day. Man, just it's just like again, it just feels very pointless. The last two to three episodes, other than like the poison resistance, meeting Rolo, I did appreciate Lo Rolo backstory and meeting Zadu, but I don't know, it just felt all over the fucking place. And Zadu getting introduced, I'm glad that he didn't get defeated immediately, or else it would have felt very fucking cheap, right? Like like you hype this guy up and he just goes away. It's kind of funny how he just showed up, broke all his fucking weapons, and just left. But at least he gave us like a little tip that hey, there's a big celebration happening, and we need to get back. And next episode. Should be a huge pop-off one where we save the city against this dragon, and that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.